one of the central themes of Measure for Measure is the miracle of forgiveness. And um, it's very similar, for example, to plays like The Tempest, um, in which that miracle takes place as well. And I say miracle because um, they're not completely rational events. They're something that um, really shocks and surprises the characters on stage who witness them. Um, in The Tempest, uh, Prospero had, has all his enemies gathered together and he doesn't know what to do. You know? he, um, and he says to Ariel, that uh, the so-called superior spirit, he says, what would, I do? What would you do now? Uh, if you had all your enemies here like that, what will I do now? And Ariel basically, in different words, says, um, well, if I was a human being, I'd forgive them and realise that he's only spirit and so he can't forgive and there's something to me so wonderful about that because you need to be carnal, you need to flesh and blood in order to forgive. That your forgiveness is a function of your carnality, not a function of your airy spirit. <coughs> you know, I mean, one of the reasons against capital punishment, the best one, the one I adhere to most, is just that it's a horrible thing to do to someone. You know, the other theories kind of fade away, really. Um, it's just... It's just a horrible, horrible event. It's a horrible thing to do to someone. And it's that's sort of like how forgiveness, I think, happens in these plays. Um, Mariana asks um, Isabella to beg um, for forgiveness for her husband, Angelo. And, as, and at that moment in the play, Isabella believes that... Um, Isabella believes that Angelo believes <coughs> that he's had sex with her dishonestly and murdered her brother. So she's got a lot to forgive. <coughs> and she manages it. She's sort of brought to a state of such emptiness that she might as well be a human being and forgive him. It's like all the shit has been blown out of her head and all she can do is confront her own self as a human being. And it's like if there's no crap there you might as well forgive. If there's no shit there, you might as well love. We don't do things like love or forgive out of a plethora of information. We often do them out of a place that's divinely empty, I think. There's a huge theme in the play, and it's a mystery. <coughs> Forgiveness is a mystery. It's not a rational thing to do. Um, we, can make, we can invent rational reasons for it, but actually that's not the thing itself. It's something else. And that's one of the reasons I love many of these plays of Shakespeare, particularly when they deal with that, because he dares to tackle um, the invisible. So many of the revenge plays you see are predicated on a world where there's no forgiveness. We forget how evil Hamlet's father is when he says, you know, revenge, revenge, remember. Two terrible words to say to your child, remember and, re and revenge, you know. He doesn't say, let it go and forgive. <laughs> he does the exact opposite.